you look over and you see Willem Dafoe and, and Alfred and all these guys, you just go like, I mean, these guys, these guys are, are, are prolific actors in the first place. And we talked about this earlier. It's like, I think what, what was done great by Marvel was that they have guys that are incredibly um, provocative as just actors. He'd say, take a free one. Let's see what you got. And sometimes in that free take, he finds jewels and connects it and, and makes magic out of that. That's the way John works. He makes it so personable that before you put on a suit, before you shoot your web, you already dig Tom Holland. You dig the way Tom Holland's eyes are, like just sort of bright and, and, and that. And so, you know, he's able to build off of what you are as a character before the supernatural hits. And that's where I think he wins. And I think this will, you know, knock on wood, win because of that, because that's how you feel. You root for these guys in and out of the costume. Not a lot of directors have that uh, confidence. Like, you know, I got the grid, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna A, B, C, D, but to be able to float it all up in the air and juggle it and then put it together, um, you know, that's, I, I told him, I said, bro, you and your prime, because that's a, uh, that's a unique quality, especially in this business now where our business is painting inside the lines and, and things like that. So uh, for him to be able to, to, to take that paintbrush and just, you know, uh, Jackson Pollock it in a, in a, in a way, um, I, I, it's appreciated. I cannot wait to see it in a in a in a in an audience with people who are probably like just chomping at the bit to get out.